This model from Corgi is another in the Hauliers of Renown series, and it comes in the usual high quality presentation box. Inside is the usual collector card, and this is a limited edition model with only 1,000 being made. It's in the colours of McFadgens, which is a Scottish haulage company which started business in 1901. And usually for a Corgi model there is an instruction sheet provided, and it explains how to fit the timber bunks onto the skeletal trailer. So let's move on and see what's in the box. First out is the Denison skeletal trailer, and that's followed by a couple of bags containing parts that have to be fitted. Last out of the box is the Scania 6x2 tractor. Whoa, did you see that piece of packaging escape? For the Scania, the usual assembly is required, starting with a number of different mirrors. These press into place and they're a good fit. Yes, it's time for a viewer question and this one is from Lee Burr of Austria. Lee's question is, when his models are on display they get very dusty, so is it a good idea to put them in a dishwasher? Well Lee, I think a question like that can only come from somebody who's previously experimented with putting their head in a microwave. Back to the review and the last item to fit are the cab aerials, and they're a little bit fiddly but they press into place. Moving on to the trailer and the timber bunks have to be fitted and they're flexible plastic parts. And the main reason for that choice of material seems to be that it allows them to clip into place onto the trailer frame. You can clip them into place anywhere along the trailer beam and you can also slide them along if you want a different position. There are 8 bunks provided with the model and for the review we'll space them equally along the trailer. The Scania is a typically simple Corgi tractor model, and there's not much in the way of detail underneath. The tyres are all the same, but the wheel design does look smart. There's a good looking light bar on the roof, and a distinctive Scania front is modelled well. Corgi models are usually very good for paint and graphics, and this one is no exception, with the graphics being really sharp. Behind the cab there are coiled air lines, and the wheel arches are metal. The Denison trailer is simple and straightforward, with large tyres mounted on the wheels. They look good as do the graphics on the side of the frame. At each end there are inset textured walking surfaces and they're made of plastic. At the back there are painted lights and thin flexible mud flaps. The model isn't supplied with logs so one option is to make your own. To start with you need to plant a tree and watch it grow for 20 years or so. But assuming you planned ahead you can cut a branch off one you planted earlier. It's best to choose one that's reasonably straight and then cut it off to the length that you need. Next you can pretend to be an expert gardener and cut off all of the twigs. It can be hard to cut the twigs off right flush with the log. So in this case we'll just trim off all of the cut ends with a sharp knife. Now at this point of course we have to give a warning that using a sharp knife like this is dangerous. In fact one Cranes etc team member cut a finger and another sliced off a leg below the knee joint during the filming of this video. Anyway, if you decide to make your own logs and assuming you survive, you can end up with something that will display well on the model and we'll see that later. Out on the Cranes etc motorway, the Scania rolls well in a straight line and it's helped by its relatively heavy weight. But there's no working suspension on the model, and it's one for only going in straight lines, because there's no working steering either. Moving on to the trailer, and again it's fairly simple as far as features are concerned. It rolls well enough with the wheels fixed to common axles, and they spin fine. There's landing legs at the front, but they're not adjustable. However, if you park the trailer on its own, it does stand reasonably level. Attaching the Scania and the Denison trailer is straightforward. And if you want to go for the best appearance, you can attach the airlines from the tractor to the trailer. They are, however, a fairly loose fit, so they will pop out. So you need to be careful not to turn the tractor sharply, but that's not really a problem because it hasn't got any steering. Still, all joined up, the model does look very good, and we can make it even better by giving it some logs. And here we're using some of the logs that were expertly prepared earlier. Of course, for the genuine imitation real-life test, we need to use a realistic log loader. And here we have a Liebherr machine expertly loading the trailer. 
In this instance, the operator has got out of his cab and is opening the grapple manually. And it's certainly a good job he's a big fellow. Come on, get on with it. We haven't got all day waiting for you to load up a few logs. Just because the operator had his leg cut off below the knee in the sawmills, no excuse for this slowness. Finally, with the truck fully loaded, it looks great, and away it goes. This is a nice model from Corgi with an interesting new trailer. As usual, it's a well-made model, and it's good looking in the colours of McFadgens. If you'd like a model of a truck from the timber haulage industry, then this one's recommended. 